Uh, so this is our annual Safe Kids Fair, and it's with uh, Safe Kids Missoula, and we have about 40 different partners that are providing health and safety activities, and uh, kind of educating parents on different health topics and safety topics. We've got everything from the big rigs to um, just everything, flashy lights, home safety, water safety, we got life jacket fitting station, healthy snacks, basically just trying to bring the community together to educate parents and get the kids kind of active and, and enjoy this beautiful sunshine out here today. Hi, I'm Shanti with Mountain Line and we are talking about bus safety. This is one of our newest electric buses. So let's go on board and we'll learn how to be safe on the bus. So when you get on the bus, it's really important to either take a seat or to hold on tight before the bus starts going. These seats are for people who either need it for a mobility device or for their strollers. So if you're sitting here and someone needs it, please give up your seat. You just pull and set it up and the driver will take care of the rest. You enter through the front doors and when it's your time to get off, you exit through the back. So if you are waiting for the bus in the dark, it's really helpful if you use a flashlight either like this one or on your mobile phone to signal the bus driver so they can see you as they're driving down the road. It helps you be safe and make sure you catch your bus. Um, yeah, so we're with the Forest Service. Um, we also have state over here as well. Um, and kind of just, uh, at, this goes for every booth, uh, but just providing any information for them is, you know, we want our fires to be safe and for our environment to be managed around here in our forest and just telling them that, uh, you know, preventing wildfires is what what we kind of do out here so I, I'm sure Andy could probably give you a little more but and we want to just make sure that kids and parents know some of the more prevalent um, risks and tendencies that kids have um, especially around the 4th of July when there's fireworks readily available um, what parents and can discuss with their kids about if they find matches and lighters um, around the house what kids should do with those because a lot of times kids they just see these items and they're not sure what to do with them. So we, we go around and we teach the kids that we should always give matches and lighters or fireworks to an adult that they trust. We really want uh, both parents and children to have a great time, but there's also this health and safety message. Preventable injury is the number one killer of children in the United right, States and in Montana, and we really want our parents to be better educated and better supported, know where to reach out if they need information, where to get help if they need help, and then also just kind of knowing more about their community and who's in their community and what resources are available to them. Hey, how's it going? I'm Thomas at the Missoula Rural Fire District. Today we have the Safe Kids Fair and today we're just showing kids our uh, ladder truck that we have at Missoula Rural Fire District. Uh, we're talking about fire, life safety, smoke detectors, calling 911. Um, we're showing them everything that we carry on this ladder truck. We got fans, uh, uh, we got um, all sorts of cool stuff to give out to the kids. We got packets, we got fire helmets. And it seems like a wonderful day to host such a great event. So today, the Safe Kids Fair, Montana Highway Patrol Trooper Band. No, just walking kids through just general public safety tips. Obviously, you have seat belts, uh, ambulance, crossing sidewalks, and uh, bus safety in general. But just in general, trying to make a good impression on kids as they're young, just to have a good, healthy relationship moving forward. So tell us about beach liner and everything. Oh, beach liners. Those are a whole nother story. Oh. <laughs> I, do, I do drive the beach liners as well, so. And how long have you been doing that for? Um, since December. <laughs> so yeah, give us a tour. Okay, this is one of our mini buses. You've got the driver's seat, you've got all the passenger seat, too. they have seat belts. They do have booster seats, I have one back here. You have a booster seat. The emergency exit. <laughs> Uh, the different types of accidents. We know that child passenger safety is one of the most important areas of safety. It's for ourselves, our kiddos, um, that type of thing. So there is then water safety. Of course, in Montana, we have, you know, the kids are out boating or they're swimming and they don't have properly fitted life jackets that are Coast Guard approved. So depending upon which uh, kind of safety or risk area that we're addressing, it's going to have different statistics. 
so we are out here um, teaching the kids how to identify the two bears in Montana. Uh, we have a couple of, a few black bear examples. Um, only one of them is actually black. A lot of people don't realize that black bears aren't actually always black. And then we have a grizzly bear. And we also have some bear spray information for people so they can learn to safely use bear spray. So if you look all the way over there, we also have an example of how to store in the tree. I don't know if you can see it. How to store your food while camping. And uh, they went through a lot of trials and tribulations and found that uh, it's best to have a bear spray that sprays for at least seven seconds and goes a distance of at least 30 feet or more in order to protect yourself in various bear charge scenarios. Um, as a result of that uh, research and development, she had a volunteer named Bill Pounds who went on to found Counter Assault, the first aerosol bear spray. Um, in Montana, we do have a lot of sun, but in the winter, we have a lot of reflective sun. So, you know, being sun smart all year long is very, very important. Uh, child passenger safety over with the uh, fire trucks and the walk under bar, I don't think people understand or recognize that kiddos need to be in booster seats, in their safety seats. In the state of Montana, it's six and 60. So six years of age and 60 pounds. And then we at Safe Kids actually recommend eight and 80. So I think that when people actually can physically see the walk under bar and see that that's how tall their kids need to be before they can be out of a, of a seat, that's really important as well. This is, a, this is an I Spy game teaching kids about medicine cabinet safety. So it has a bunch of different things about what should be in the medicine cabinet, what shouldn't, what's unsafe, like having mixed pills in a bottle, that's unsafe, um, having like inaccurate measuring systems, things that shouldn't belong like nail polish, um, and then we have some other things about medicine safety at the station too. And we do each child's fingerprints for each finger. And then they take it home and they fill out the rest and they keep an updated photo. And basically if their child goes missing or gets lost, they can just bring this to the police department so that it's a lot easier to find their child.